Hey guys, sorry to come to you on such on such a dark, dreary day, but what are you gonna do? Ha, just kidding, it's beautiful. are out it's gorgeous out here it's like 31 32 degrees so it feels great and uh yay the nights are still really cold but this is optimal time for uh collecting maple sap you got your warmer days and your colder nights and that makes it flow good so pretty exciting it's almost time Scott's working this week, but when he's off, again, we'll go out and start tapping the trees and see what we can find. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. What's everybody doing? What's that? What's that chicken over there? Is that a chicken? Is that a chicken? Are you a chicken? You think you're a chicken and you eat chicken poo so that makes you a chicken you are what you eat ha your chicken poop we go in and collect some eggs i got four this morning so i got my bucket brought it back out been getting about 11 or 12 a day so um the girls are back on so it's pretty exciting howdy guys Look in there. Is that a chicken? Are you a chicken? Bun Bun, what are you doing here? Are you a chicken? Huh? You blend right in. Chickens. Do we have any eggs? Do you guys lay any eggs? Let's see. Let's check. No. No. Oh. There's a chicken in there. All right, no eggs there. And there's Bun. Hi, Bun Bun. I can't see you. Hi, funny bunny. What are you doing? Digging a hole? No eggs over there. Those are two fake eggs up there because they keep kicking the one out down bottom. So. Hi, bun. Hi, bun. What you doing? Laverne. What's up, girl? Get your fuzzy bones out. You too, Laverne. Yeah, Laverne. Laverne. Look at that. You see the shadow of the solar panels? That means we're getting some sun, which means we're making some power. Woo-hoo, man, is that sky beautiful. Gorgeous, and we're making power. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, I was on a live last night, or a couple nights ago, actually, and there were people asking about roosters and why people have them and if they need them and lots of reasons or questions like that. And uh, I, was, I got to thinking and I said, well, self 
I think I need to explain a little bit better about uh, roosters and whether you need a rooster in your flock. So you don't need a rooster. You don't need a rooster to uh, have your chickens lay eggs. They'll lay them anyway. If you want fertilized eggs, you need a rooster. You don't need a rooster if you just want to have chickens. So some people say, why would you want a rooster if you're not planning on hatching eggs? Um, roosters are really good protectors of the flock. They, um, they will break up fights amongst the girls. Uh, they keep order in the chicken yard or wherever they are most of the time, but sometimes they can cause disorder. They can be little stinkers sometimes, and when they're young, they like to just chase the girls and try and get frisky with them. Uh, that's just them working that out, but eventually most roosters figure it out. So no, you don't need a rooster to have chickens, but in order to have fertilized eggs, you need a rooster. Um, they will lay them and they will go broody without a rooster around whether the eggs are fertilized or not That's just what they do. It's in their nature to create more babies. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna have any broodies out of these 18 hens that I have here. We'll see <laughs> Somebody just laid an egg. I think we're doing pretty well on our uh, our wood Situation here. We haven't hardly gotten into this side. It's, it holds four stacks. I can't tell you how many cord. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking I, I probably shouldn't even say. There's probably maybe there's four cord there. I don't know. But anyway, there's two sections. We haven't got into this one very much. It's newer wood, so it's not as dry, but we've been mixing it in with the old stuff, which is over here. We still get a whole stack behind and probably about a third of a stack down uh, from the one in front of it. So I think we're doing pretty good with that. We got our pro mix so we can start uh, seedlings. We're going to be, uh, we've ordered our CBD seeds. So we're going to be planting some more CBD this year, which is awesome. Um, it's been working great. My uh, arthritis has been really kicking in the past few weeks with this cold that we've been having. It's been a killer. Um, and uh, the CBD has definitely helped a lot. And we're finding out that it's helping our old dog too. She's, uh, we don't even know, she was a rescue. She's over 12 years old and uh, she has been taking CBD right along with me and we're both feeling pretty good. She's like a new pup. I don't know if I'm like a new pup, but I'm like a older pup, but I don't know. I don't even know, I, I don't know. But anyway, she's feeling good and I'm feeling better now that the weather's warmed up a little bit. This cold every year gets worse and worse on my joints and I, it's just it's awful. Talking about Yed. <laughs> Very soon we're going to be going out there. Not too far. Hopefully not too far. And tapping some maple trees. Uh, when Scott gets off work, we're gonna head out there. And uh, we got 10 buckets, 10 spiles, 10 of everything. So I think that's what we did last year. So I think we're gonna do that again this year. So that'll be pretty fun. And then once you do that, it almost feels like, uh, you know, it, it's just spring is coming and it's a really nice, it's a really nice thought. We're also getting the uh, frost heave signs. They're big orange signs. If I can find a picture of one, I'll stick it up here because I don't know if everybody uh, knows what that is. But we get, uh, when the frost starts coming out of the ground, the uh, it starts heaving in the road and causing the asphalt to break up. Um, and so big holes and then you've got big bumps and you're just driving down the road and all of a sudden you hit either a hole or a bump and or you fall into it. I mean, the things are crazy. But anyway, so they put the little signs up just before you're going to hit one of those things uh, just to kind of warn you. So, yeah, there's the old hound dog probably eating chicken poop back there. On, so that's another sure sign of spring is that it's warming up and the roads are 
starting the free the frost is starting to come out of the roads and uh so it's just going to cause some hate and discontent for a little while but hopefully not for too long so the really cool thing is the past two or three days we've had some really warm weather and we had some snow up on the roof of the shed and i was contemplating going up and um uh shoveling it off or scott was and because it gets pretty heavy here and it actually melted on both sides this side gets hit with the sun so i knew that probably wouldn't be so bad the other side doesn't get hit as hard with the sun and it was pretty pretty tall but um it's all gone there's just a little bit left on the other side i think if any i don't know but anyway all the snow on top of all the roofs are all well that one's still a little bit because it snowed yesterday but they're all cleaned off it's great look at the twinkie we even plowed up against it and everything so that it wouldn't cave it in so yeah it's awesome um that saved a lot of work and a lot of back uh ache and shoveling and all that so i'm pretty glad that that's that's uh happened the only problem is the garden the garden is still full of snow but oh well what do you do it'll melt oh my word that sun feels so good i can feel it on me it feels so nice if i could find a dry warm place to sit i would sit and just sit in the sun and soak it in we still got some snow banks and we will have Oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys, I fermented some garlic in honey and it's about three weeks old and uh, so I've been flipping it every day or every other day, burping it and uh, it's really working very well. It's foaming so that's how you know it's working and fermented honey, fermented garlic in honey is good for blood pressure, is good for cholesterol cold and flu season. Right now I've got a plugged ear. I don't know if you can hear uh, how I'm talking. I sound all nasally. I found, I, I feel fine, um, but my ear is plugged no matter what I do. And it was painful just to like swallow and blow my nose. It was hurting. So um, I've been putting peroxide in my ear and taking some of that uh, garlic honey mixture. And uh, I feel like it's getting better. So what did you do on your Sunday? Me? Well, I took pictures of chicken fuzzy butts. I found a clean, dry spot to sit <laughs> on the bulkhead to the house. So I'm gonna sit here and let the sun beat on me for a while and give me some vitamin D watch the chickens, and uh, relax and hang out. So thanks for stopping by the homestead, guys. We'll catch you later. <laughs>